In this project, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, strings in C++. So this is Ken Urban, and this is for CSC 123. Uh, I have code blocks already started, just to kind of speed things up. So I'm going to create a new project, right? Console application. C++, we'll call this one um, strings. Um, new C++ again. Open up the sources, our main CPP, right here's our, our sort of hello world program. We're going to build and run it. Make sure that, that everything is together, right? You can see it's kind of compiling there. So uh, linking there. And there we go, it runs and it says hello world. Now we're talking about strings. Okay. Um we talked before, or at least notes about like integers. I can say integer x, and I can say x equals 67, and then I can like see out um, x plus 7, right? Where x is a memory space determined to be an integer, and I'm storing the integer constant 67 into x, and then printing out um, x plus 7, which would be 67 plus 7, which would be 74, and when I Start this one. It should give us just a 74. Right there, it is 74 squished in front of "Hello World." Right, and if you'd wanted on a separate line, you could have put an endl in there to do that. Now, string variables. Right, first off, use the word string, um, and again, they have a variable name. So rather than using like this. Really bad name like X. Let's just call it um, first name, spelled correctly. So I have a string called first name. The first thing to notice is, is what code blocks is telling us. See that int here is in blue, and string is in green, and C out is in green. And it was mentioned that C out is stored over here in the I/O stream. It's an object that's built part of it. So that's kind of giving us a little clue that string is a C++ thing. It's an object that's built, it's actually part of something called the STL, the Standard Template Library, and it's not like integer, which is more sort of built in. So it's going to work a little bit differently. Okay. Um, the first thing to notice about string variables, can't type today, is that, um, notice I, I didn't initialize this to anything. And what we got was a blank line. So string variables are initialized to a value, empty, nothing. Right? Well, an empty string is different than nothing. So it's a string of nothing, as opposed to, okay. And whereas, like here, x, if it isn't initialized, I'm going to run this. See, it gives us whatever happened to be sitting around in memory. That's one of the differences between these intrinsic types and these object types, is that there's a built-in initialization going on. Do you always want initialization? Well, no, it could slow you down. But for the strings, we're fine. So we can give it a value. I'll use my first name. Okay, so we wrote like x equals, and then I put an integer over here. Here I put a string over here. Notice the string is in double quotes. Just like this. Yes, th these things in double quotes are strings. And you can think of them as uh, string constants or string literals. I guess literals is a better term for it. But this is just the string can being stored in first name. So we run this. And now it gives us can over here. Now, in the same way that there's operators for math, there's also an operator or two for strings. So, um, uh, but I, I don't, it doesn't make, well, maybe it does, but we're going to pretend it doesn't make sense to add numbers to strings, but we can add two strings together. So if I put like space urban, right, that's my last name. So I have a plus, notice I put the space in there, otherwise it'll be squished together. This plus operator in C++ is called the concatenation operator, which is a fancy name for appending two strings together. Right? You concatenate two strings to put them together 
but the most I, I you can say you slop them together or you append them. You see here now I got Ken, which is stored in there, plus Urban. And we could store this um, I guess separately. Oh, let me use that case. Right, so I have first name, last name. Let me replace this with last name. So now I'm going to print out first name and last name, add it together. And like I said before, right, there's no space in there, so they get put in there. So I could also create another string called full name. Just have trouble hitting shift today. And the full name is equal to first name plus, let's just stick a space in there, plus my last name. Let's take a semicolon. And then show the full name. With correct capitalization down here. So here's kind of the use of strings. Um, I'm going to leave the integers up here, we'll put some comments up here. Just to, to get an idea of what we're doing. One last run, one last build and run, I should say. And you can see the full name that came out was Ken Urban. I would start it off as here, this string, this string, and that's it. So the same way you can store integers into variables, you can also store strings. But again, you have to have these quotes whenever you use them. And then again, this plus operator concatenates them, puts them together. Um, they're initialized, unlike these integers which aren't initialized. They're initialized to an empty string or to a string that contains nothing. Uh, thank you.